Yo, what's up, Bob here. Welcome to the Bob Bradley YouTube channel. I sincerely hope you're doing well. I most certainly am. It's Derby time here in Louisville, Kentucky. If you don't know what that means, I'll explain it. The Kentucky Derby is a horse race, and this year is the 150th Kentucky Derby. The Kentucky Derby Festival is happening. That's a two-week period here in Louisville where there is a bunch of events that are really fantastic. We all go to these events, try to have a good time. There are lots of tourists in town. They are everywhere. And as a result, it's very busy here. That said, I've still been getting out, looking through the crates, and I found some awesome records for my collection, and of course, to show you. So without further ado, let's get started. Coming in hot, Nina Simone right on. I saw this from across the room down in Half Price Books. And I thought it was maybe a Pharaoh Sanders record on ESP disc just because of the look of the cover. When I got over there, I thought, ooh, it's a Nina Simone record. I like, I love Nina Simone. And this is classic Nina. It's a live record. Sounds really good. There's a really beautiful tune on here called Please Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. There's a cover of House of the Rising Sun. It's pretty good. Very clean on Roker Records. Yeah, has this kind of maroonish label. Paid like 14 bucks with a coupon. And really happy that I got it. If you see a clean copy around, make sure you pick it up. Here's a record that I have been searching and searching for. It's very difficult to find for whatever reason, especially a clean copy. This one is probably VG Plus in the shrink and I am super happy that I have it. The Temptations All Directions. Papa Was a Rolling Stone is on this. Big cinematic intro instrumental, heavily featuring Wah Wah Watson. Lots of effects like reverbs and delays, bouncing around the soundstage. Beautiful sound and stuff. Very Jamerson-esque bass on here. I think James is on this record, but I don't think he plays on Papa Was a Rolling Stone. That said, vocally, it's incredible. It can literally send a chill right up your spine. Now, Papa Was a Rolling Stone is a cover tune. The Temptations did not write it. That said, I believe that they do have the definitive version. If you see this record, or The Temptations' Psychedelic Shack, Make sure you pick it up. I heard that one of our local record shops, Surface Noise, got a beautiful collection out of New Orleans. So I went down there to check it out. First thing I saw was this, Curtis Mayfield, Back to the World. It's a German pressing, has that kind of a, you know, smooth, glossy cover thin, a little bit wobbly, if you will. That's a good way to tell when you're just flipping. If you see that kind of thin, glossy jacket, you know that it's probably from somewhere else other than here in the United States. So I saw it and I thought, mm-hmm, $15. Didn't get hurt at all. It's on the beautiful Buddha Records label. Soulful, super funky. Speaking of Wawa, there's a lot of it on here. If you don't know, a Wawa pedal looks like this. Operate this with your foot. Yep, this is an old Italian Wawa from 69. Sounds quite beautiful. And it makes sort of a wow, wow, wow sound. You can do that in a variety of ways, popularized by many funk artists and Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, you know the deal. So, lots of wah, lots of funky bass, beautiful falsetto singing from Curtis Mayfield. Just an, a, an amazing record. I passed on this one time and boy oh boy was that a mistake. I will be looking for a US pressing. This one is probably just breaking into VG Plus, so I'd like to find something a little cleaner. That said, I'm happy to have this. So if you're working on your blues collection, and you're trying to get those iconic blues titles, you'll most certainly be looking for this one. Taj Mahal, The Natural Blues, that might be a take on The Natural Blues. Yep, has this iconic looking cover. This is a beautiful pressing, quite 
clean. Actually, mine is a Columbia 2i. That's an OG, folks. I've been looking for this for a while. Finally found it, around $20. And boy, is it a beautiful sounding record. Quite audiophile. The A side opens with Good Morning, Mrs. Brown. Karina is the second song, and it is epic. We also have got Going Up to the Country. He's probably playing a resonator guitar on here. Mm -hmm. That's like an old national or something to that effect. This is very good. It is a must have if you like the blues, if you love Taj Mahal. That's me. Last but not least, a record that I have been looking for for ages. I've seen it around. They were either always too expensive or not clean enough. So when I saw two copies of this record in the crates, I got very excited. One was 40, one was 20. I decided that I was going to go ahead and pony up for the cleaner copy. And I did. So, without further ado, if you want to kiss a funky beagle or hitch a ride upon an eagle, read a catalog from Spiegel. Do it, but do it well. That's right, folks. Bill Withers, Just As I Am. My Lord, have I been looking for this. Okay, so Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone is on this. Grandma's Hands is on this. Do It, Do It Well is on this. Everybody's talking. This is a fantastic record. It is on that Sussex label. Sounds magnificent. Bill Withers, a man at a later stage in life, decided to become a music icon. And he most certainly did. I have still, Bill. <laughs> I've been looking for this one for a really long time. And it's finally joined the other Bill Withers records in the collection. And so happy to have this. Very clean copy. It's a keeper. No upgrades required. This is very, very nice. Overall, this is a happening little stack of records. It, the one that I think, you gotta get this Temptations record. There's a little bit of, um, there's some dicey material on here, but uh, you'll get over it. That said, all of these records are funky as hell and just unbelievable additions to anyone's collection. So, get out there, look through the crates, and um, on May 5th, watch the Derby. Yeah, it's only like two minutes long. Come on, guys. All right, anyway, until we meet again, that's right, folks. Bob out.